Sir, I stand here to oppose the surrogacy regulation bill 2019. Sir, why I am doing is, there is no denying the fact that we need an urgent law as far as surrogacy is concerned. It may be noted that in the absence of uh, a concrete law, many illegal and unethical practices have become common. This includes surrogacy tourism, where foreigners would exploit poor women for dirt cheap prices and hazardous health conditions. Furthermore, it enabled widespread physical exploitation of women in baby farms and even human trafficking. For the dignity of human beings and safety of surrogate mothers, a law is necessary. Definitely we want a law, but it cannot be so inadequate and cruel as this law. And when we are opposing this law, why? The reason is we feel that this law is anti-children. For their own admission in the financial memorandum of the bill, the government does not think that any monetary expenditure is expected in the implementation of the Act, and this is absurd. By setting up national and state surrogacy boards without providing for any financial expenditures, you are creating toothless tigers. A regulatory body without effective enforcement is not particularly useful. In effect, children will be at risk of being born and trafficked in large numbers. So we also feel that this bill is sexist and against the right to privacy. So the Supreme Court's Putuswami judgment recognizes that every person has a right to autonomy in taking decisions that pertain to their body. The SC judgment in Suchita Shivasto versus Chandigarh administration recognized the right of every woman to bodily integrity, especially with respect to decisions pertaining to pregnancy and abortion. Sir, sub clause 6 of section 3 of the bill requires the surrogate mother's written consent for an abortion to be a cause. Section 9 prohibits the forcing of any surrogate mother to have an abortion except in such conditions as may be prescribed. So this effect effectively leaves no procedure for the surrogate mother to terminate the pregnancy. It does not matter if there are valid reasons. The law must protect the bodily integrity and privacy of every woman to seek termination of pregnancy regardless of the contractual obligations. Furthermore, leaving it to the administration to prescribe the conditions in which a surrogate mother may be forced to have an abortion, screams of arbitrariness and violation of fundamental right to privacy. Furthermore, the most vulnerable person in this equation is the surrogate mother. We must ensure the stronger legal protections exist for her health care and safety are incorporated. Honorable Speaker, sir, it is 2019. We are, more, we are no more using terms such as physically and mentally challenged. Our own law rightly refers to persons with disability. While in many faiths it may be that a person with disability is not a whole person, sir, but the Constitution recognizes every person with a disability as a full citizen with the same rights and protections as everyone else. Furthermore, India is also party to the UN Convention on Rights of Persons with Disability, which recognizes various rights. Sir, in the Section 43C, an intending couple is eligible even if they are not having a living child. However, the provisional states that if a couple has a living child who is physically or mentally challenged, then they are eligible for surrogacy. The message that this bill is sending is that persons with disabilities are not whole human beings and therefore their parents are as good as childless. There is no doubt that parents of persons with disabilities face many challenges. Sir, just one minute. They face many challenges and difficulties, but this is only going to add to their woes. Similarly, sir, in section 2, it defines intending couple as an infertile couple that has been medically certified as such. It is possible that the disability of infertility can be a reason for surrogacy. Sir, just last two points, sir. Sir, just last two points. So lastly, I would like to add that this is a badly drafted legislation and a very important point that I would like to bring to the notice of the Honorable Minister. So the issue requires serious legal protections and procedures to ensure stronger enforcement. However, the government has washed off its hands without any serious safeguards. Sir, for example... Sir, we have given a motion from our party and from DMK. We have given a motion from DMK.
लेकिन सर ये शाम होने लगे अभी तक हमें सर ये नहीं मानने